Welcome to Ways of the World. We're slow traveling one country at a time. And in today's video, we are continuing our adventures throughout Mexico's Yucatan Peninsula. We are lucky to have the time to visit incredible off the beaten path places as well as more popular sites. And today, we set out to explore two of the most famous places in the Yucatan Peninsula. The world wonder of Chichen Itza and the beautiful Cenote Iquil, two essential stops on most people's Yucatan itineraries. everyone it is 6 45 a.m it is super early but today is going to be an awesome day because we are finally going to Chichen Itza we are taking the local bus to get there actually we're going to rent a car but Chichen Itza it's already kind of expensive and we're hiring a guide so we decided that we were going to use the local bus system for five dollars back and forth so that's where we're heading right now also, if you're wondering why we're going there so early, it's because Chichen Itza is the most visited place in the entire Yucatan Peninsula. So we want to get there right when it opens and we have to get on a bus at 7 a.m. And it's going to take us an hour to get there. It opens at 8, so it should work out perfectly. There's already a lot of people here trying to do the same that we're doing, I guess. That was an easy one hour ride from Valladolid, super smooth, and we got here like a quarter to eight. I think we did the right thing, it's already starting to fill up with some people, but I think we beat the majority of the crowds. But I'm excited for today, it should be awesome. We're getting a guide, which is always a lot of fun, they have a ton of information. I'm excited to see what the fuss is all about with Chichen Itza. We did it. They have it, so we did it. <laughs> we just wanted to call it. It's sacred Mayan Beans. Starbucks. <laughs> I read different things about getting a guide, so I heard it was cheaper once you get inside the actual site and there's different places outside the ticket booth where they have official guides. But apparently when I spoke to the guy that was going to scan our ticket, he said the guides hadn't arrived yet. So we just found someone else who just like put us in their group and it turned out to be much cheaper. So I think we're saving like 700 pesos. Like, Malo pinta la clé Chichen Itza, Bishabel, Incaba, Eduardo. Entonces vamos a conocer el motor más importante de Chichen, que es el templo de Cuculcán, la serpiente emplumada, una de las siete maravillas del mundo. Behind me is the most famous temple in Chichen Itza. It's called Kukulkan, and it's actually not the biggest temple in the Mayan world. In fact, like not even close. But there's some things about it that are super interesting, like the acoustics are amazing. And even beyond the acoustics, like another reason why this is so amazing is like the different steps that lead up to the top of the temple. There's like four different sets that have 90 steps, which totals 360. And then they added like a small 
staircase at the very top that had five steps to total 365 steps, which of course represents the days of the year. So like the Mayan calendar, they already knew like the length of a year. So there's so many things that are just incredible about the Mayans and you learn all about it here in Chichen Itza. Desde que se fundó Chichen Itza, en el año 850 después de Cristo, la ciudad ha ido evolucionando durante el tiempo que funcionó, que fueron como 900 años. We just got done with the tour. Our friend Eddie was amazing. He was so entertaining and informative, and we cannot recommend enough getting a guide, even if you visit several Mayan sites. They're all different, and Chichen Itza had different influences, so it's worth learning about it with the guide. Right now, we're gonna keep walking around and show you there's a cenote here too, where there's there have found like uh, human remains. And also, we apologize for the quality of this video because they took our mic and our tripod in the entrance, and we have to talk to Lucy on the way out. I don't even have a ticket for it, but anyways, we're just gonna keep walking. That guy's just selling stuff, literally said. If, he said it in Spanish. If you speak Spanish, you pay less <laughs> for the souvenirs. <laughs> and it's true. Cenote Sagrado, which translates to sacred cenote, and cenotes were super important for the Mayan people because they were considered like the, gate, the gates to the underworld. And obviously, this was very important for the people of Chichen Itza. And in the 70s, they doped these cenotes and they found human remains. There, right there, human remains. What? Crazy. This is one of the coolest places in all of Chichen Itza. It's the biggest ball court in all of the Americas. And it's much different than all of the other places that we've seen in the other sites that we've visited. Like the goals are much higher and everything's just way grander. It's super cool to see. And the reason it's different is because the Tomex, I think the, another indigenous group, they had a different way of playing the game. So instead of like scoring, like hitting the ball with your hip, they had like bats to like hit it through the, the circle. And that's why they had this like giant ball court. And also, there's like a really crazy echo. Let's try and do it. So different teams would sit on the opposite sides. And like the team from Chichen Itza, they would never talk. They would never talk. And like the Chichen Itza team, they could like hear everything the other guys were saying. Yeah, they would spy on them. Another super cool thing that we learned is that, and this is true for like all Mayan cities, they were painted red. Like that was like a sacred color for the Mayans. And can you just like imagine this whole thing like painted yeah. like dark red? Like how cool is that? And we're on the way out, and but before we leave, we want to show you. There are these guys everywhere with like a whistle that makes a jawer sound. And the first time I heard it, like it completely freaked me out. <laughs> I'm gonna see if I find some courage to ask one of them to do it in front of the camera so I can show you. <laughs> Gracias. De Venezuela. Gracias. That was crazy, right? Now we have to find Lucy to see Ooh, to if she still, still has her mic her or gimbal and, and another tripod. And another tripod. Let's find Lucy. Lucy's a good name. She should have it. Lucy. Her niece is named Lucy. Hola. <laughs> Gracias. We have a mic again. Can you hear the difference? 
Hello. <laughs> Hello. Can you hear the difference? I hear Why a am I talking like a whale? <laughs> you sound like a quetzal. <laughs> talking like a whale. This is classic. Whales don't talk. Can we do that again? Janita, final thoughts? I would say it like this. It's really cool and it's definitely worth getting a guide. Like there's so much information that you learn about mm -hmm. like the Maya is super interesting, but at the same time, it's also kind of expensive and it's not like the biggest or the best runes that we've seen. It is so it's true. kind of like we, a weird balance. Yes, it is a weird balance and don't get us wrong. Like we understand why this place is important and significant and it is amazing. But we saw other ruins that were better and we're visiting two other more in the next couple of days that mm -hmm. are a lot cheaper. There's and they're just as close to like Cancun and like Valladolid and like other major sites that you can visit yeah. instead of Chichen Itza and you have like a whole different type of vibe. Yeah, it's a different experience for sure. We share those videos. I'm going to link them here so you guys can check them out. And if this is a, I mean, if you want to see it, it is a world wonder, uh -huh. a wonder of the world and it's worth it for sure. But there are other options that are a lot cheaper and they're also really cool so if you can't afford it or you don't have time don't feel that bad because there's other stuff now now we go to a cenote the most one of the most famous cenotes yes we in the really really want to see it and we were told that our boss is going to pick us up at the same spot that they drop us mm -hmm. off this morning so we're just waiting for the bus the bus is here Time for the snappy. We are waiting to put our stuff away. The sonata is very formal compared to other sonatas with this one. We have to put everything in our locker. I think because a lot of people come here, so you don't want to leave your stuff like in, on the way of people down there. And yeah, we're still super excited because we saw pictures online and this place looks awesome. We cannot wait to show it to you. We have our key, now we can change and we have to leave everything in our lockers, including our camera. So that means we're switching to the GoPro. So I apologize in advance for the terrible audio again, but we'll tell you all about this another thing when we're back up with this camera. GoPro. Time to go in. Good one brown. Like talk a little bit better we're about to leave but i mean this place is incredible it seems fake like right like i i could not believe my eyes it is extremely busy but you can totally understand why like this cenote is like whatever you whenever you google cenote like this is what shows up and as you can see like we're not like even great videographers or anything like what you can see on the camera is like exactly what it looks like it, it's beautiful. Now it's time for us to catch our bus. Apparently we have to wait on the side of the road. <laughs> so... How long do you think we'll wait? 20 minutes. 20 minutes. You? Seven. The loser buys the beers. Eight minutes. Eight minutes. Oh, I nailed it, huh? Taking the local bus today was a great choice. I think we paid like, I don't know, six or seven, like total. It was super convenient. We only had to wait eight minutes on the way back. And yeah, it's been super smooth. And now we should be home in like half hour. Thumbs up for the Colectivo. Way better than renting a car. 
Now I have some beers to buy. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. It's my victory beer. We we're gonna have this regardless, but it tastes better because it's a victory beer. We're both winners. Mm. Extra refreshing. That was so fun to share with you guys two of the most famous places in the entire Yucatan Peninsula. Today we definitely understood why everyone wants to see these places. The Mayan ruins were incredible, Chichen Itza is beautiful, and the cenote was like, I couldn't stop saying like how beautiful yeah. it was. But to be honest, like we weren't really sure like what to expect, right? Because I did a lot of research and everything said it was like super crowded and a lot of like vendors were everywhere, just like getting in your space and kind of ruining oh God, the experience. Yeah. But we had an awesome time, like everything, yeah. it was busy and there were vendors, but like, we yeah, just exactly. go with the flow. Days like these definitely make us appreciate other days because we slow travels and we get the chance to experience off the meeting path places and super touristy places. And even though today was super fun, like it really makes us think about when, yeah. you know, when we have places to ourselves. You can't help but like compare a little mm -hmm. bit. Like we've had cenotes and Mayan ruins like all to ourselves. Yes, exactly. And like both are great. But like if we had to pick one what we prefer for our like travel style yeah. it's like having a place to yeah. yourself and like connecting yeah. with it we're selfish you definitely connect like you the people are there to like yeah. talk to you and it's a different experience and we do try to share all of that in our videos so if you go back to our yucatan series you can see those videos for yourself and see the difference mm -hmm. it's, it's just different there's nothing wrong with yeah. either we enjoy both but it's different Anyways, we have a food tour to shoot tomorrow that we're going to share next week. And for now, yeah, we're going to finish our beer so and yes, and go home and prepare for tomorrow. Thank you for watching. If you like the video, please like it. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye.